Today, we will talk about Hotelling's theory. Hotelling's theory, also known as Hotelling's rule, states that the owners of non-renewable resources will only produce basic commodities if doing so can yield more than could be earned from available financial instruments, such as U.S. Treasury or other similar interest-bearing securities. This theory assumes that markets are efficient and that the owners of the non-renewable resources are motivated only by profit. Hotelling's theory addresses a fundamental decision for an owner of a non-renewable resource, keep the resource in the ground and hope for a better price the next year, or extract and sell it and invest the proceeds in an interest-bearing security. It predicts the price of oil and other non-renewable resources based on prevailing interest rates. Hotelling's rule was named after American statistician Harold Hotelling. For example, an owner of iron ore deposits may choose not to extract the iron ore if they expect a 10% appreciation of iron ore over the next 12 months, and the prevailing real interest rate at which they can invest is only 5% per year, ignoring extraction costs. The difference between the marginal extraction costs of natural resources and their price is called the hotelling rent. The price increase rates of non-renewable resources should theoretically track the pace of real interest rate increases, but in practice, the Federal Reserve Bank of Minneapolis concluded in a 2014 study that Hotelling's theory fails. The price appreciation rates of basic commodities examined fell short of the annual average rate of U.S. Treasury securities, and extraction costs were suspected to explain the difference. Harold Hotelling was an American statistician and economist known for Hotelling's theory, Hotelling's T-square distribution, Hotelling's law, and Hotelling's lemma, among other contributions. Here are three key takeaways. 1. Hotelling's theory defines the price or yield at which the owner of a non-renewable resource will extract it and sell it, rather than leave it and wait. 2. It bases the relative price on U.S. Treasury bonds or some similar interest-bearing security. 3. The rule was devised by American statistician Harold Hotelling. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.